Thanks for checking out Rivalru's Teammates program and the TeamChat plugin. TeamChat is the name of our one-of-a-kind chat tool that automatically matches up the fans of one team with the fans of an opposing team. The Teammates program allows website owners and developers to place the TeamChat application right into their website. We will begin this tutorial video on the Teammates landing page found at teammates.rivalru.com. As you can see, there are four steps in becoming a Rivalru teammate and placing the Team Chat application on your website. The first step is to sign up for the Teammates program. Step number two is to request approval for your website domains. Step three involves creating and customizing your Team Chat plugins. And step four is placing the plugin on your website. We'll be walking through these steps one at a time. First of all, you need to sign up for the Teammates program by filling out the sign-up form on the landing page of teammates.rivalru.com. The account name is what all of your domains will be stored under. There can be multiple websites or domains under a single account. Complete all fields and be sure to read and agree to the terms of service. Now that you have created an account and logged in, it's time to request approval for your domains. Rivalru staff will need to review a domain and give approval before you can create and use the TeamChat plugin. There are three links which allow you to request approval for new domains. Two of them are on the plugin management page found here at the top of the right column and here at the bottom of the left column. The third link is found on the domains slash profiles page here at the top of the left column. Before we submit our request for new domains, let's take a detour and look at the user management section. There are two levels of users, administrators and editors. Administrators have full admin rights and can add, edit, disable, and delete plugins. They also can add and delete domains and other users from the account. Editors, on the other hand, can only add, edit, disable, and delete plugins. They do not have the ability to add or delete domains or other users. To add a user, click on either the Add an Administrator or Add an Editor link. Enter the user's name and email address, then click Save. A notification email will be sent to the new user with instructions for logging in. Now back to requesting approval for new domains. Click on one of the request links we looked at earlier and a pop-up will appear with the text input area for listing the domains you would like to use the TeamChat plugin. Enter your domain name, one per line. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at two example websites, iHeartCowboys.com and SampleSportsSite.com. At the bottom, you'll see a list of all the users assigned to your teammates account. Here, you can decide who you would like to receive an email notification that is sent by Rivalru once a decision has been made regarding the approval of your domains. Click the Submit button and the pop-up will close. Now a new list of pending domains has appeared in the Domains Management area. Once Rivalru approves these domains, they will be moved to the Approved Domain list. Now we can move on to Step 3, Create and Customize Team Chat Plugins. On the Plugin Management page, Click the Create New Plugin link found at the top of the right column. A plugin table will appear. Each plugin can be assigned to one team. iHeartCowboys is a Dallas Cowboys fan site, so we need to start typing in Dallas Cowboys into the team name field. Predictive text will present options for you to choose from. Choose Dallas Cowboys and make changes or confirm the other settings and click the Save link. We just created our first Dallas Cowboys plugin for the iHeartCowboys.com website. Step 4. Place the plugin code snippet on your website. The iHeartCowboys.com website. We're going to pretend it's a popular fan site for the Dallas Cowboys, and we want to add the Team Chat plugin for its users to chat about the upcoming games. First, we need to decide where the Team Chat plugin should be placed on the website. A Team Chat plugin will automatically grow to fill the width and height of its containing element, but needs to be at least 785 pixels wide and 527 pixels high. For this site, I've decided to create a new page called Blastbox. It's going to have the Team Chat plugin at the top of the content area 
and a few ad spaces just below the plugin. Here is the HTML for the BlastBox page. The plugin code snippet will be pasted right here. We need to go back to teammates.rivalru.com and copy the code snippet from the plugin table. Now, back in the code, I'll paste the plugin snippet into the BlastBox page's HTML. If we go back to the BlastBox page in the browser and refresh, the Team Chat plugin will appear. The Teammates program allows you to place multiple plugins on one website. Let's look at a second example, samplesportsite.com. Imagine this to be a large site containing sections devoted to each team in the NFL, NBA, and MLB. I want to place a Team Chat plugin on a sub page of each of the teams in the website. In this example, we'll create and install one plugin for a team in each of the three leagues. For the NFL, we'll do the Washington Redskins. For NBA, the Chicago Bulls. And for MLB, we'll create a plugin for the New York Yankees. Now we'll go back to the teammates website and create a plugin for each of these teams for samplesportsite.com. Click the Create New Team Chat Plugin link and be sure to select samplesportsite.com from the Domains drop-down. This is important because if I place a plugin assigned to iHeart Cowboys on Sample Sports Site, the plugin will generate an error saying it cannot be placed on this domain. So I've correctly selected the samplesportsite.com domain and typed in Chicago Bulls for the first team's plugin. and save. And again for Washington Redskins and one last time for the Yankees. Now that I've created these three plugins for samplesportsite.com I need to copy the code snippet over to the HTML. First I'll grab the Washington Redskins snippet then switch over to the Redskins HTML and paste the plugin snippet into the code. And now I'll do the same for the Chicago Bulls and the New York Yankees plugins. Now if we go back to samplesportsite.com and refresh each of the pages which we installed the Team Chat plugin, we can see them appear right where we pasted them in the code. Here is the Washington Redskins plugin, the Chicago Bulls, and the New York Yankees. You may have noticed that the Chicago Bulls plugin looked a little different than the other two. This is because the Chicago Bulls, along with the rest of the NBA teams, are currently in off season. When a team or league is in the off-season, the Team Chat plugin will transform the blast box mode into a general off-season chat room. If you look at the chat icons next to each username, you can see that multiple teams are being represented in the off-season blast box. Keeping track of multiple plugins on multiple websites creates the need for the ability to sort, filter, and disable plugins. First, we'll look at the sorting options. You can sort your plugins alphabetically by domain name, league, or team name. Clicking on the sort radio buttons immediately reorders the plugin tables in the right column. You can also filter out plugin tables by deselecting the filter checkboxes. It's possible to hide all of your plugins, so if you're looking at an empty right column and can't figure out where all of your plugins went, check to make sure you didn't filter all of them out. You also have the ability to disable a plugin. If you look at each plugin table, you will see a disable link in the upper right corner. Clicking this link and pressing OK to the alert box will put the plugin in disabled mode. Disabling a plugin allows you to keep the plugin from appearing on your website. This allows you to temporarily remove a plugin from view without having to actually delete the plugin snippet from your HTML. After refreshing the page, you can see that disabling the Cowboys plugin on the iHeartCowboys.com website has completely removed the plugin from the page. To make the plugin visible again, you simply need to press the Enable link.
Now, if we refresh the page again, the plugin is back. Now we'll look at some of the custom display options that you can apply to each of your plugins. Clicking the edit link on any plugin table will present you with several customizable options like background color, chat area label, and enabling or disabling headlines and videos mode. Let's change the background color to red and change blast box to team chat. Now if we click save and refresh the blast box page on iheartcowboys.com we can see that the background color that creeps out from behind the plugins corners are red and the words blast box have changed to team chat. Now we'll go back to the teammates website and focus on the samplesportsite.com plugins. I'll filter out iheartcowboys.com so that I can focus on the three plugins I've created for Sample Sports Site. On the Yankees plugin, I'll change the chat area label to Sports Talk and uncheck the headlines mode. Now if I save the changes and refresh the Yankees page, you can see the changes take effect. Notice that there are only two buttons at the top of the Team Chat plugin and Blastbox has been changed to Sports Talk. Now that I changed the options on the Yankees plugin on samplesportsite.com, the other two plugins I've created don't match. To easily update all plugins on a particular website, you can click one of the Apply to All links found on the Plugins table. So on the Yankees plugin table, if I click the Apply to All link, on the row containing the chat area label options, all the plugins in the samplesportsite.com domain will automatically be updated with the same options. Now I'll do the same and update all plugins on samplesportsite.com to show only the videos mode along with the blast box. Now if I refresh these two pages, you can see that all plugins have the same chat area label of sports talk and have headlines mode removed. We here at Rivalry are here to help with any questions or suggestions you have regarding the Team Chat plugin. And you can always visit the help page of teammates.rivalry.com to review the technical requirements of the plugin or to send us an email. Thanks for your interest in Rivalry's Team Chat plugin.